A Frank Lloyd Wright house has been rediscovered in his home state of Wisconsin, but it didn't come as a complete surprise to Linda McQuillan. And some of them will say, well, I, isn't it a Frank Lloyd Wright home? It looks like a Frank Lloyd Wright home. And I say, oh, that's interesting. People do say that about it. When she bought it for $100,000 in 1989, it was in bad shape, and she had to talk her family into it. We, um, over time, have completely redone the house and redoing it without having any, any indication that it was any significant house. Some of the changes she and previous owners made helped keep its identity hidden. The front porch was turned into a library. The typical stucco was covered with brick. Still, there was something there that prompted two experts to approach McQuillan in 2009 about their suspicions. They took a look around and found framing studs were 24 inches apart, a known right deviation from the typical 16-inch span. The window pattern is a right custom design, along with the latches. Finally, I was able to come um, across this drawing, and that's the sort of, you know, the thing with the, if you're doing a crossword puzzle and you need one, a piece that really then pulls the thing together. The drawing was from a 1917 advertisement by a building company offering right homes. The same company was named on the building permit for McQuillan's home. The American System Built Homes, uh, Frank Lloyd Wright had developed a series of home models. And they were lettered A through J and so on, um, different sizes and shapes and, and to fit the needs of different families. The AA series that we have uh, discovered now in Madison, Wisconsin is exciting because it's the only one and the first one that we've ever actually found that, that had been built. Her property records indicate the house is now valued at more than $480,000. It does feel like a reward, to, sort of a vindication that um, when I saw the house and could see beyond the disrepair that I knew there was something substantive. The house really spoke to me. An architectural treasure hidden in plain sight. Carrie Antelfinger, Associated Press.